Focus Get Stylus is a pen and it comes with a rubber, little uh, rubber or with a little foam top because most of the uh, styluses on the internet that you can find at eBay and stuff like that have a uh, rubber top but this baby has a foam top. I don't know if you can see it very clearly but what this does is it works much better on the screen of the iPad if you want to use it to take notes. Now, taking notes on the iPad is another thing that the iPad was not initially designed to do. Again, it takes use of a functionality that wasn't provided by Apple, but kind of works around it using a stylus like this. To do so, you need a great application to take notes, and the one that I chose today is NoteShelf. It's about three euros in the iTunes store. Very interesting. Looks kind of like the iBooks application. And what you can actually do is make all kinds of notebooks. Now, to get started, we'll start with a sample notebook. And there are several templates that you can choose from. Plain paper, ruled paper, wide ruled, checked, wide checked, legal pad, are just, you know, the paper forms that you can choose from in general. But when you go to business, you have a day planner that is already filled in for you. Task lists, meeting notes. When you go to the uh, personal tab, you can have a, a nice scrapbook, you can have a shopping list, you can have a journal, or you can even have music scores where you can actually compose on. Now, just to get it started, we'll use a ruled paper uh, as a template, and we'll give that notebook a little name. Call that test. There we go. Save it. And you can see that it's right here. Now, NoteShelf has a task list, which has several options, and we'll start at the very top. So I'll hold the camera here so you can follow along. This one takes you back to the main menu. This one clears the page. This one undoes and redoes what you want to do. This one accesses the, well, drawer of, uh, of pens that you can use. Let's see, tap on there see a variety of colors of pens that you can use and you can also set the thickness of your pen. You have an eraser right here. This lets you erase whatever you've written. You've got an entire smiley data bank. I'm not really sure why you need that, but when you want to, you can just select a smiley and put smileys all over the place. Don't know why you want that. Go back. You can also, and this is pretty neat, import a picture from your uh, picture library. Now we'll take a picture as an example. Let me see here. I got something cool. For example, um, we'll take that starship picture that I saved a little while ago. And you can actually drag it around on the application, but you can also, once you got it there, you can actually start drawing on it. So we'll take the pen here choose a color, magenta, choose a nice thick uh, point and you know start annotating that drawing. This is where the captain sleeps, this is the engine compartment, this is the nacelle, this is the bridge. See there, there you go, here's the bridge. And you can actually use it to annotate those pictures. Now what really makes this cool, if you have the iPad 2, you can actually take a picture and annotate that picture as you go along. Now there are several other pictures. We'll clear the page, uh, several other icons. Let me clear the page here. Uh, which allow you to work with the um, notes a little bit better. One of them is a well, you can on, only uh, call it what, what you would say a, well, kind of larger text area. Because can, you can write up here if you want to, but, you know, you have the entire page, so you have to be pretty precise. I'll just put a little point there so it's a little bit easier to write for me. So that's all good. That's hello. But if you want to write, you know, in this space, between these two lines, you need some more precision. So you need those well, kind of looking glass functionality that lets you drag around this zoom kind of pad and lets you write bigger here.
while the text appears up there. This is nice. You can also go to the next line on the page by using the next line button, or you can go to the far right of the page, as you can see right here, by using the far right button and go back to the left and just use these two buttons to scroll through your page. Now this is all nice and dandy because uh, at the moment the uh, iPad is you know upright and I'm not really using it but with uh, as a notebook but when you use it like a notebook you put your palms of your hands down on the glass. Now how does it deal with that? You can actually set up a lock screen, a wrist lock screen and this renders this part of the page inactive and only renders this part of the page active. So I can put my hand down here and write without actually um, you know, writing something on the screen when I'm touching below the red marker that is right here. Now this is nice, okay, but once you've got this written up, then what, you do, what do you do? Well, you can export it. You can export the entire page as images or a PDF. You can choose to export the current page, all pages, or selected pages. You can shoot them away via email. You can sync them back to your iTunes books library. You can drop them off in your Dropbox, which is also cool. You can send them to Evernote, or you can send them to the iPad photo album or even print them. Now, what I've used this for is taking uh, notes, making sketches, stuff like that. It's like a real notebook, but you can export whatever you did digitally uh, to, um, well, whatever you want to go to, I, either that be email or iTunes or Dropbox or Evernote immediately. So what I've done when I want to outline show notes or if I want to make a technical sketch, I just, you know, draw away on here. Um, let's say, for example, uh, I want to do something technical. Let me find something here in the photo library. No, that's not really a good idea. Here, save photos. Um, let's see. Okay, I've got a, a screenshot that I made uh, a little while ago, and I want to show that to somebody. So I just turn it around, squeeze it, put it there, go back to my stylus, and say, like, look, this application is what you use to write with. And uh, these applications are for video. These applications are for entertainment. I choose a different color. And, uh, you know, I made a mistake here. I said, like, no, I don't want that. But if you erase, you see you erase everything. So you might want to be careful with what you erase. You also erase the picture. So I'll take a different stylus here, different color. And I will say, like, take this. A little fatter, okay. And drag this over here. And then we get your smileys. You got a lot of smileys to choose from. I don't know why you need so many smileys, but you know, it's always nice to put a picture of a cow here and a picture of a cow there. This is for sketching, but also if you want to go to the next page, just tap the bottom. Uh, for general writing, it's pretty okay. You, uh, it does take some getting used to, and I'll see if I can do this while the whole thing is standing up. I'll see what I, I can give you a little um, demonstration. Now, you say, Nightwise, you've got terrible handwriting on this thing. Well, I've got news for you. I've got terrible handwriting, period. So uh, if you take a little bit more time to write and time to get used to it, um, it's pretty cool. What I like about this is that you can really write handwritten notes and, and uh, annotate pictures and send them to people without, uh, you know, being all digital. It's, it's like, it's nice. It's like writing an old fashioned letter, but still being able to uh, send it to people uh, digitally and you know it's kind of old school and kind of geeky at the same time so that is what makes it really interesting okay and you can you know if you if you're a little bit uh, creative you can really turn it into a scrapbook like that different color
Okay, that's about the worst signature that I ever gave. But you know, in the, with the combination of this, the camera, and the uh, ability to send them out via PDFs or share them via either Dropbox um, or um, iTunes or email or Evernote, it's a really nice and convenient tool that does help me turn the iPad into some kind of you know sketch or scrapbooky thing, and that helps me you know also use it as an annotation device. So the um, Pogo Sketch Stylus here, 16 euros, and the Note Shelf application about 3 euros will turn your iPad into a little bit of a note taking device. Oh, we're back. Hey guys, well, I hope you enjoyed KWTV 0024 Letting Technology Work for You with alternative input methods for the iPad. It doesn't always have to be a geek-centric show. It can also be a show where you let technology work for you while you're lounging on the couch and really enjoying your technology. Um, as for me, I like two devices. I like using both the ZackMate and a little stylus here. It gives the iPad a little bit more of an extra dimension and just not only use it for uh, you know reading books, watching movies, surfing the internet, but it can also draw up a quick sketch or type out a quick message. For me, it has turned the iPad into something more. Well, that's about all we have time for this week. Uh, we have some news on the community front. Uh, I have uh, set up a official nightwise.com uh, page on Facebook which is linked to the website. So we need your likes there. So if you can go over to nightwise.com and click the like button in the top, what is it? Right corner, bottom right corner, sorry. Just click there and become a fan of nightwise.com on Facebook. And you can also uh, send in your questions via Twitter using the hashtag DearNightwise. I'll probably put it around here somewhere. Dear Nightwise, and just hash Dear Nightwise and it will show up in a special feed I've created for myself and I will try to answer those questions who come in uh, via the Dear Nightwise hashtag as it's called uh, as soon as I can. So if you have a cross-platform question or you want to tune technology into your way of life, use the Dear Nightwise hashtag and your messages will automatically also appear on the um, nightwise.com Facebook page. Thus, we keep you updated. If you have any feedback, the hashtag Dear Nightwise is something you can use. You can also go to the website, of course, www.nightwise.com, and there you'll find the links to everything that we showed you today. And of course, you can find a place to plop down your feedback in the comments section there as well. If you want to subscribe to the show, you know how to do so. There is a nightwise.com media feed in the top right corner that lets you catch all of these episode automa uh, episodes automatically and have them delivered to your podcatcher uh, without you having to do anything. Just letting technology work for you. That's about all we have time for today. I'm going to you know, continue my book. I'm reading on, the, on this baby for the moment. I'm reading a great Star Trek novel. And today is, by the way, Captain Kirk or William Shatner's 80th birthday. So in honor of that, I'll try to read a little Star Trek novel and to continue on with my loungy evening letting technology work for you. Have a good week and we'll see each other next week. Bye!